Here at the zoo, we're very, very lucky that we had two Andean bears born in November. Muneri and Miney are at the stage where everything is fun, everything is exciting, everything is brand new to them. So these guys, a part of taking care of them is protecting them from their own curiosity. These guys are at the absolute cutest phase of life. They're at the, the stage right between complete infancy, where they're completely dependent on mom, and juvenile, where they're starting to explore, and they're getting their sea legs. Andean bears in the wild are classified as vulnerable. So we're extremely lucky to have these guys because they're a great addition to the conservation family for Andean bears. Billie Jean is a phenomenal mother. She came to us as a three-year-old and now has had three litters. Cubs number five and six are Muneri and Miney. He's going all the way up. Oh, no. These cubs are fathered by a, an adult male called Cisco. Muneri and Miney are Cisco's first two cubs. He was 20 years old when he came to us and he had been in with a female for years and years and years. And they had bred, 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 but never conceived. She never gave birth. We transferred him here in kind of a last ditch effort to see if he was compatible with Billie Jean. And we, we pretty much took a gamble. As soon as Cisco and Billie Jean were introduced to each other, he hit the ground running. Cisco's a great bear. He is the most laid back male bear I've ever worked with. Hey, Cisco. Come on in, buddy. There you go, good boy. We often prepare food in the morning in the kitchen, and he'll hang out in there and kind of request his own food for himself while we're making food for his family. Cisco, are you ready for another peanut? Good bear. So the cubs have now started eating a little bit of solid food. Their teeth are starting to grow in. Their mouths are big enough to eat and chew. And they're watching mom eat the foods, and they want to do everything that mom does. Sometimes I think they're part cat because they're so curious. It seems like they crave something new to get into. We try to replicate their natural environment here at the zoo. Time in the den serves as bonding time with mom. We have trees for them to climb. We have rock crevices that they might see in the wild. Andean bears live in South America. They're primarily found in the Andes mountain range, and their best habitat is the cloud forests. Every day before the cubs go outside, we do some baby proofing of the yard. We'll just get right in front of the steps here. Yeah. Um, they'll carry it everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> Billy Jean will love it. We put hay down on areas where they might fall. We check that their perching is stable. We look at the rocks to make sure the rocks are all intact, and we do that every morning just to make sure they're going to be safe. All of our bales look like they're intact down here. Yeah, it looks really good. The first few times that these guys come out of the den, they're learning from mom what's dangerous and what's not. What they can get into and what they can't. Muneri tends to stay a little bit lower down, and he'll climb. He does what Andean bears do naturally, but you can kind of see a little bit more of the daredevil in Miney. The most beautiful part of all of this zoo management is that when you have a female who's as great a mom as Billie Jean is, we just get to sit back and watch. We can provide some insight into some bear behaviors that are, at this point, virtually impossible to gather in the wild. Because the terrain they live in is so terribly difficult to get into and to study, we don't know a lot about Andean bears. These bears here at the National Zoo have told us a lot about what we know about the species. We can watch cubs being born and their full development, and it's a pretty special thing.